My lovers, Capi Nation and their lovers, welcome to your February 2021 astrological sign update, Capi. Some kind of truth about to hit you, I don't know what it is, but some kind of truth about to come out. Are you going to download some kind of truth about your situation? Because today I pulled for the blue nail, po new, blue nail polish and you know once I do that, <laughs> there's some kind of massive shift that's about to happen. And then I paired it with my blue shirt. So I know that some kind of massive shift is about to happen. And you might also want to do a little grounding and protection on yourself. Um, to take away any blight that somebody might want to send you away. Right? Blue is for all those things. So anyway, let's get into this and let's see what messages come through. Now remember when you're watching these readings for love, you're not just going to watch a sun sign. Yes, I'm a broken record when I'm going to say it. Um, you're not just going to watch your sun sign. You're going to, you're going to watch your sun, moon, Venus and your rising sign. And then you're going to watch your person's placements in those areas. Because when it comes to soul connections, the energies can be flipped or vice versa or even mirrored. And that's why it's so important as well that when you're watching these readings, you can watch it twice or you should watch it twice. One for your person and then one for yourself. Okay. Because especially when it comes to twins, you're working through the same issues, just on different levels of consciousness. And even if you're not twins, whoever is in your environment, they're a reflection of your some part of yourself. As hard as it is for someone to accept sometimes, they are. And they're trying to highlight you either a, a shadow aspect or a not-so-shadow um, aspect of yourself. Okay? And then you're not going to keep yourself in a box. If a title just calls out to you, you go there, right? You know, you might embody different energy at different times, but it's your spirit guys trying to draw your attention to a particular message. So don't be bogged down by or any kind of astro box. You're a free spirit. Beautiful. All right, so message from their higher self. We're getting a holistic view of your person. Uh, we're building a profile okay, of your person right now. Okay, let's get a message. Emotional body, how are they feeling? Not necessarily connected to you. It's my emotional intelligence deck. And we're going to see what are they healing right now, which is always an important card to look at because it can also give, an, give you an indication of what you are healing. Okay, we have a blank card. No, we have disillusioned. No, we have spell. See what I'm saying? I told you about that blue for the blight. We have spellbound. So for some of you, you definitely need to have yourself cleared. Um, and you can do that. There are lots of grounding and protection meditations um, on YouTube. If you feel like it's a little bit more heavy, you're talking about curses, hexes, um, bind the magic, that kind of stuff. You can check out my website for assistance, okay? All right, but um, there is definitely a message coming through about spell because I told I told you about the blight, and then this is the last card I was there. But let's see what they're healing right now. So again, it's all about your intuition, what resonates um, with you, okay? We have an orphan going on. Somebody has some kind of abandonment issue um, that, they, that they're powering through here. Let's see. What are they healing right now? It's my wounded warrior's deck. What are they healing? We have a broken home. And then we saw orphan down below. So for some of them, it looks like they may have passed through um, the foster care system or, you know, social services, um, whatever it is. But, you know, broken home doesn't have to be um, anything that severe. It could just be... Whatever was the environment, and they could have been, you know, two parents in the hospital, one parent, me, a grandmother, whatever, whatever was the setup. Whatever was the setup, your person just did not feel nurtured. They didn't feel supported. They didn't feel like they had a firm foundation where they could explore themselves, where they could explore their world and really come into an authentic understanding of who they are, of who they were, who they are. Okay. So there was something unstable that was going on in the home. Again, there could have been other things. Um, uh, maybe there was a nasty divorce. Because sometimes divorce is necessary, okay? I mean, gosh, um, some people are better off um, being apart and they find themselves much better friends for it, quite frankly, okay? Sometimes just being in that intimate space, just it's too much triggers. 
and people aren't willing to work through the triggers. So maybe there was some kind of nasty divorce or whatever it was. Um, it looks like it just created a very unstable environment um, for your person. Okay. We have an ego death. What are they experiencing right now on their twin flame soulmate journey? We have cancer. So some of them could actually be sick um, and maybe battling with some illness, battling some illness. Um, and it could be, it could be some, it could be cancer, but is this cancer the sign? So what that tells me is that even though your person has put up a brave front, a hard shell, inside there's a lot of soft, beautiful emotions that are just waiting to express themselves. Cancer is one of the like natural mystics of the zodiac as well. I'm um, being very intuitive. I mean, they're represented by the moon um, as a major arcana, right? So there could be a lot of intuitive nudges that they're having right now. I'm doing a lot of shadow work. For me, cancer represents, it's that shadow work card. Things coming out of the unconscious and the subconscious um, for healing. So this could be what's happening to them as well. Cancer is also about, you know, home and, home and hearth, right? Um, you know, tending to um, our intimate connections with our family, friends, um, or loved ones. What else? Yeah, yeah. Cancer, cancer is a psychic. Yeah, it's a psychic. It's the Queen of Cups. So this person could also be going through a heart awakening um, at this time, and they may want to offer their cup to someone else. But remember, in the traditional Queen of Cups, the cup is there's a lid on it, so they may not be expressing their love at this time. But there's a lot um, that they may have to offer. All right, let's see. Um, what's happening in their family dynamic right now now there could be a message that's come through about the family that your person grew up with or there could be a message that comes through um, about the family that your person is associated with or in um, right now okay now this is the family feud deck um, it was created by our soul sister um, Tiffany so if you're interested in supporting her, and it's, am it's an amazing day. I mean, just w watch the readings, right? Yeah, and it's so spot on. Um, I'm going to put the information down below um, for you. It's 160 cards, 60. Okay, so it's it's beautiful. Um, it's really um, expansive. Multitude of issues. All right, captured. So... We're going to get two of these. What's underneath the deck? Go run, tell that somebody has a secret. And they don't really give a shit anymore, but who knows? All right, let's see. We have so-and-so. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you little so-and-so. <laughs> there could be some fights or some cuss-outs going on. You are just like your mother. So I think this person's also realizing that there's a lot of um, programming from their mom that they're powering through right now. But this could, as I said, you know, you watch these readings twice, once for yourself and once for your person. So this could also be a message to you, Capricorn, that, you know, you're just like your mother, which, which is, I'm sure, is a beautiful thing. But it looks like there's, there's, there's something that's dysfunctional about um, and everybody has issues. Everybody has issues. So it looks like there's some kind of toxic pattern that you may have gotten from your mother. So we're going to go into this and see what this is all about. So we are talking about your person, but remember, you know, everybody around you is a reflection of yourself. So there's also a message here for you. So we'll go into that a little deeply. Okay. But it looks like whatever's happening, that your person is realizing or somebody could even be telling them, you're just like a mother, right? And your person's realizing that, why well, I'm like my mother, especially with some of my toxic patterns. So there's that. You know what you can do as well? Um, if you go on my homepage and you look in the interviews playlist, the interview with DF's mother and the interview with DM's mother might be very helpful for you. However you are guided, 
those two interviews are what are uh, what's coming to mind when I look at you are just like a mother card. Go watch those two. Uh, they were pretty enlightening. Okay. All right. So let's see. Message from a person's 3D self. What do I want you to know? Somehow you always know when to reach out to me. You always know how I'm feeling. And I just want to say, and, and just what to say, and how to help me. You feel the words that I don't say to you. I wish that I could tell you how I truly feel. So this is them with that cancer energy. You know, having all this cup of love that's bubbling up there. But they have a lid on it. They feel like there's some kind of, I'm getting, your person has some kind of heart wall or something like that. Um, that's going on that's preventing them particularly from expressing their emotions and it could come from the circumstance that we plugged into with this broken home let's see what the other cards say this is a message from the higher self now we have cathedral what am i this is the hierophant right so one this person's recognizing that there's some kind of soul connection between you guys some kind of soul connection some kind of soul contract and two this person um is also recognizing or rather, they're learning some big, heavy spiritual lessons at this time. Because that's what a prior fund does. It teaches you a lesson. Okay. So, um, we're going to go into that. And let's see. Message. They're curious. Emotional body. They're curious. This is my Lurker card. So, if you feel like your person's forgotten, your person's forgotten about you. <laughs> no, they haven't. And they're keeping tabs on you. You may not be able to see it, Capricorn. But they are investiquiring. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get, let's pull some cards on these, and get all the messages that spirit has for you. So let's see this cathedral. Yeah, they see they, they they're downloading some truth. You see, right? So it's not just you getting truth, right? They're downloading some truth, and they want to speak their truth as well. There's something that they realize now. This person heartbroken at this time. Okay, we have a three of swords. There may be a third party situation um, in this mix, but this person it looks like they're just realizing you are the ten of cups here, and now they feel stuck. They want to take a leap of faith, but they're feeling stuck because it looks like they're with somebody else or in some kind of situation where they feel like they can't come towards you, and that's why they're keeping their mouth shut here with this page of wands. Okay, that's why they're not saying anything. They just feel, they feel like they just can't. They can't. What are they curious about? They want to know what you're doing. Because they've already identified you um, as their person. So they're trying to figure out what are you up to. Can you manifest this love? They want to take action. They want to free themselves. I think this person fantasizes a lot about what it would be like and that's that's another part of the curious what it would be like to be with you to raise a family with you they're very curious about that and i feel that their mind often wonders because they show me someone you know just lost in a daydream and smiling huh? and smiling this person wants to put in the effort okay they recognize that they are your counterpart remember we just had the queen of swords out here look we have this king of swords so they're seeing the truth quite clearly but they're also feeling like they are not good enough and like they can't make a move they feel like they're stuck in some kind of very painful cycle here we have ten of swords in reverse we have ten of wands in reverse so there are two messages i'm getting with that they feel like they can't make a move because it, i feel like they are with someone else there's i'm definitely feeling a third party here but they also feel like they're not they can't make a move because they feel like they're not good enough for you. Whatever happened in this broken home, in this un unstable home here, okay, I feel your person may have addictions. And everybody has addictions, right? May have some kind of addiction um, that they might have used to cope and they're still doing that one. They find it very difficult to open their heart because this pain and betrayal is still lingering. They haven't fully dealt with it. That's two. And they got a lot of baggage. That they keep dragging around from relationship to relationship to relationship and projecting all that wounding onto someone else. Now they know this, 
But this person has not made that decision to unpack all this baggage. Yet. It's, they're still in that pain mode, that survival mode. And maybe it would be instructive if you watch the karmic reading. I think it was Friday, Friday, the karmic reading on Friday. It's very much the same energy, stuck in that pain and just not knowing how to pull themselves out um, at this time. They've not, they've not made a decision to fully unpack that suitcase that they've been toting around. Now let's see what happened in this broken home. What's what's good? What's that about spirit? This is why your person is such a player. So that's what Spirit is saying. It looks like there was a lot of instability. Maybe they even had a caregiver that kept coming in and out of the home that was not consistent. Maybe this whoever this player, this person was, you know, they were more con more concerned about their self and their frivolity. So there was never any um, solid messaging um, given to your person about being dependable, um, about being stable. Right, it looks like there was a parent that was in and out of their life and that didn't invest um, in them. It looks like there was a transgression of boundaries um, in that broken home because when there's not enough supervision and people caregivers are invested, all kinds of shit can happen. So it looks like there was some kind of transgression of boundaries, and you can take that anyhow you want, right? Okay, you 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 will listen to your intuition where that is concerned. But it just was not stable enough for, for a child. There might have been an abusive um, f feminine energy, not necessarily female in body here. Some sort of abuse with that queen of wands um, reverse. And as toxic as it seems, it looks like that queen of, queen of wands kept it together. Kept it together, but your person's been stuck in that pain and that dysfunction um, ever since. Now, let us see this Cancerian energy for what they're experiencing right now, right? We said Cancer is the psychic, the natural mystic, right? One of those cards, right? Okay, so we have Cancer. So for some of them, they're definitely ill, okay? Um, for others, oh... There is a generational pattern, generational trauma that has run like a kind of cancer um, in your person's family. Mm -hmm. That generational pattern deals with poverty consciousness and choosing partners based on economic stability um, and nothing else. Now, for whatever downloads that your person has been getting, they want to move in a different direction than their ancestral line. But they ain't saying shit about it yet. <laughs> we have a knight of swords in reverse. No, they're still sabotaging themselves. So a part of them, they know that they want to do something different from their family line. But they keep procrastinating. Look, we have the three of wands there. Mm-hmm. There's some kind of messaging from a father figure who might have been very domineering that is running in your person's mind. And whatever th that father figure, whatever messaging your person received from that father figure, whether they were present or absent. Copy there, lovers. You know the camera came off and I was there just chatting away like an idiot. Okay. Already we got to the hard space. <laughs> anyway, so I play back the video. So I think I was saying whatever they received from the father figure, whether by their presence or absence, um, they learn to put their needs before other persons. And of course, once you start denying yourself and denying your denying your needs in lieu of other persons' um, wants, needs, expectations, okay, once you start suppressing yourself that way. Um, then there's a lot of inner resentment that builds 
and also it's 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 inauthentic so what do you do you feel trapped in a situation but you feel like you know um you can't move and you still have to provide or whatever it is so whatever they got is that you know what to escape that you have your addictions um you have your distractions um but you don't you don't leave or you don't honor yourself okay you just find distractions and you find different ways um of escaping that is a message that that, they, that is a messaging that they got from that masculine energy whether they were male or female in body okay and it looks like a person's doing the same thing oh my i can't believe i went through all this anyway so we have so and so so i was saying that in the caribbean we we say so and so um when we're gossiping right you know so and so went and la 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 la, la and we then tell the whole story and uh, we also use so and so when we're having a big cuss out your mother so and so right <laughs> And that's like the highest insult that you can get when you cuss somebody's mother so-and-so, right? <laughs> okay. So, to me, it looks like there's a lot of, and what I was saying before, there's a lot of gossip that's around in your person before, but there's also um, a lot of arguments, a lot of quarreling, a lot of bickering. I feel like there's an outer circle of a larger family unit that's looking on in on your person's immediate family, and there's a lot of gossiping, everybody, what we call susuing. Right, everybody talking, right? And then there's this inner circle, which is the more intimate members of your person's family. Okay? Um, and it looks like there's a lot of quarreling and fighting there. That's what I'm getting from this so-and-so card. So it's gossip, um, and it's also um, a lot of fights. But, you know, your person holding on. Now, they feel like they have to defend themselves against this. So they've kind of shut themselves down, and they get through it by thinking about you. I'm also getting that there's gossip surrounding you, um, at this point in time as well, because in my readings, all upright court cards are divine energy. So that is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like um, things, are, as far as your person's concerned, things aren't over between you guys. Um, they are grounding that energy. They're feeling that right now. That's the truth that they're getting. They're seeing you as the empress, but it looks like there's some kind of wider circle that knows about you and are talking about you. Okay, I didn't get this the first time, so... It's a good thing that happened again. We have the star card. Yeah, people are seeing your person healing. People are seeing your person's transformation. Your person is different. They may not be out of the woods. They may not be that. They may not have completed a transformative process. Okay, but people are picking up that your person is different. And somehow they know that it's connected to you. I think you are known. Um, in this family circle. People know about you. But they're still not standing in their power. All, they, all they're doing right now. Your person's spying on you. They're not doing anything. So it looks like. There are people in this family that know about you. Or this people in this circle. It could be friends. That know about you. And there's this gossip that's going on. Because your person is changing. They can't hide it anymore. Now I'm saying this. You are just like your mother can't. I was saying go into the interviews and look at the interview with DF's mother and the interview with DF's mother. I think that might be very helpful to you and understanding your person. But also somebody could be saying this to somebody. You're just like your mother, right? Or maybe your person is just like their mother. Um, and they and what I got before is that the mother figure is very um, judgmental. Okay, right. Their mother might be kind of neurotic as well. And maybe they are as well, an overthinker. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the negative aspect of Virgo. And your person is trying to balance out this energy. They're recognizing that that's where they get it from. They get it from the feminine energy in their life, okay? Where they might have been a little unstable, all right? Mother might have been inconsistent with their affections and love, may not have invested emotionally um, in them. And that's why your person finds it difficult to invoke to invest emotionally in people they're rather just numb out and pretend that nothing's happening um that feminine energy the mother energy might have also been very controlling and that's where your person gets their control issues from so they're realizing this they're seeing this they're looking at um their life making that review of the past and they're seeing they have a lot of toxic traits and a lot of beautiful traits um, that they get from whoever was a feminine energy in their life that parented them. 
Now, somehow you always know um, when to reach out. So this person realizing that there's, there's something special about your connection, okay? Um, it's not the ordinary thing. It's no ordinary kind um, of relationship, of connection, okay? But they just don't know what to say to you uh, right now. Yeah, they're not, they're not standing in their power. I'm also getting that there's someone in their life and that could be very controlling as well. Yeah, they're still hiding behind their mask uh, and doing a lot of procrastination, okay? Yeah, th their mind is playing tricks with them. Their mind is telling them that they can't move on from some kind of toxic situation. So your, your person's biggest enemy right now is, is their mind. Is their mind and, and what they tell themselves about what they are capable and not capable of doing. All right, so let's get into their heart space for you. So this is where I'm at. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to be using the romantic tarot. Let me see who gave me this. I think that was a, this was a gift from D, I think. All right, so, and it's so weird because when I, when I started using this deck before, when the video cut off, it was the world, but it was upright. Okay, but now it's in reverse. Okay, but it's the same message though. What I said is that you right now, your person's world has been turned upside down. I think there's a lot of um, spiritual energy that's running through your person right now. I mean, person's realizing that Wherever they are, it's not what they want. So they want to manifest something um, new in their life. They want this new beginning um, with this empress here, which is you. Okay, and they know they have to get this through truth. So we have the ace of swords. Told you about my blue, right? And then we also have the magician who uses all his tools in his toolbox to manifest what he wants. So that's what your person wants to do right now. Um, they, they want to manifest this love. It looks like a new beginning. All right, so their heart space energy for you when they think about you. Okay, we have a four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have a three of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And we have a seven of cups. All right, they feel kind of confused and conflicted inside, and that's why um, they don't do anything. Now, part of them, okay, wants to heal this connection with you part of the part of them sees that you are uh, guys are a match you guys are a couple this could even be a first dance at a wedding this could be the parents here and you guys there they're seeing all of that but they're also procrastinating we have the three of wands which is a card of patience but sometimes it's just procrastination they're also thinking that you might have someone else at this time they feel like you have many many options including some kind of sugar daddy um, that's in the back there, right? <laughs> they think that you have many options and they, they're wondering if it's too late. But instead of, you know, making a move, they're letting their mind run away with them and they continue um, to wear this mask. They continue to hide their feelings because the innermost feelings is that they want to come and court you. But they're just not sure of the reception that they will receive. All right, so let's pull some cards on that. Let's see that Four of Swords. Yeah, see, they realize you, you are the one, right? A dream come true, a wish come true. They wish upon a star and you appeared and that they, they have a soul contract with you. They want to make things right here. They want to make things right. But they, they think you have other people in your life right now. They think that there's some kind of block or some kind of barrier that you've put up there. And that's why they're not communicating. They're quite intimidated. They want to take this leap of faith because they see you at the Ten of Cups. We come back here with the Ten of Cups. But they're just not standing in their power. And I think it's because, one, 
They, they think that you have someone else, but they also might have someone else. And they find it very hard to walk away from that connection. And it's not because they have emotions there. But remember that about the programming they received from that masculine energy. You just don't, you don't walk away. You find ways to escape and cope. Um, and you stay in the toxic situation. Let's see that seven of cups. We have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, they, they, they aren't ready right now to show who they really are. They want this new beginning with you. They do. But they're still holding on to some kind of toxic energy and toxic programming in their life. And it, it all stems from um, a dysfunctional childhood. How are you blocking this connection, Capricorn lover, whoever's watching? Okay, we're going to focus on what we can control, which is ourselves. So how are you blocking this connection at this time? We have the Queen of Swords, all right? So there's some kind of truth that you need to speak also, and it looks like you have been holding back. If it's not truth, this is a lesson in boundaries, Okay. You've not taken up your sword and, and, and spoken your truth, right? You're still holding back. You still have this sword here on the ground. You need to pick up that sword um, and speak. Speak into the mic, okay, and lay those healthy boundaries. So there's a conversation that needs to be had here, and it looks like you haven't picked up that sword to have that conversation. That, that's Libra energy. How else are you blocking this connection? Okay. Um, what is this? The moon. We have the moon reversed, okay? You're not listening to your intuition in some particular aspect. Or you may not be, you might be resisting your own shadow work at this time. So I'm going to pull cards on this. We have cancer coming out again. Huh? And then we have the hangman. Um, you're also in some kind of stalemate energy as well. You're not moving. You're not making a move forward. You're standing still also. Yeah, both of you guys want this reunion. Let, let's see this uh, moon card. What does it mean? This is you refusing to do your own shadow work. You have your own insecurities as well that you've not been looking at. We have the six of wands in reverse. Yeah. You have some insecurities that make you very defensive. Mm hmm. Or that, that may make you hold on to things in your life that aren't for your highest good. Yeah, you're not standing in your power. You're, you're giving yourself your power away, even though you are the empress. For some of you, you have insecurities that, that you get from your mother, the mother energy here. So that's why I was saying that that mother card, it's there's also something there for you to look at as well. Because Spirit is saying there's some aspects of you, especially when it comes to your insecurities that are just like your mother. And that's that should be with a place where you start doing that shadow work and that healing. All right, yeah, because you're in stalemate energy, right? You yeah, you know this is um real love. You want to show up for this love. But it looks like you're heartbroken. You're, you're stuck in that pain. Mm -hmm. And because you're stuck in that pain, you're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing that there's some boundaries that need to be laid here. You're not seeing that this was a karmic lesson for you. I'm not saying that this person is a karmic. In fact, this person is showing up as your counterpart. But I'm saying here that there's a lesson in boundaries that you still have not mastered. Okay. This is a card that says stand up for yourself. You're not standing up for yourself in some particular respect. This is your counterpart. They are saying that. But they're saying that there's something that you're not. That you're still allowing. That you're still allowing. That's not honoring who you are. So based on what we're seeing here, what can we expect? What will be this person's actions towards you within a month of you watching this reading? What are we getting? We have the Ace of Wands. 
Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We have the devil. Capricorn, that's you, huh? And we have the Queen of Wands, Aries. So I see them taking action. Mm -hmm. I see them taking action. They're going to manifest this new beginning between you guys. Okay. By making a choice. They can either stay with some in some kind of codependent relationship. Or they can come towards you, the Queen of Wands. Either way, there's going to be some kind of shift, some kind of truth here. They feel very insecure about coming towards you. They do. But it looks like they're going to make a choice. Let me pull a card on that, um, that Ace of Wands. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be pulling themselves out of some kind of codependent relationship. Yes, and stop this overthinking that they were doing. Because the Ace of Wands is all about action. Yeah, there's a karmic energy in their life. They're going to be taking action on that. Let me see what happens with this devil energy. Which could be you. Yeah, going to get epiphanies, a lot of epiphanies about their addictions. And also about you. They're going to be going back and forth in their head here. And what's this Queen of Wands? We have the Three of Wands. I still, it's, it still looks like they're going to be doing this, some kind of delays right now. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. It looks like the action that they're going to take is, is that shadow work that they were dealing. Because I, see, I still see them struggling um, to move out of some kind of toxic situation. I think they're going to be getting themselves into balance with this justice card. Especially their insecurities. You might have a conversation. I think they're going to release a lot of immature energy that's around communication. I feel a conversation coming in, but I don't think it's any more than that. I think they're going to be using that time to do shadow work. And I think there is some kind of truth that they're coming in to speak. I do see that. But I don't see them leaving another situation completely yet. No, I don't see that. I don't see that. Not yet. So what is the advice for you, Capricorn? We have a yang. Take action. Right? We have the ace of wands here, ace of wands here. So it looks like there's definitely an energetic link between you and your person. And because you are in stalemate energy, we saw you in the hangman's energy. Spirit is saying in order to shift this, you have to take action. What is the action spirit wants you to take? Make a move. Break that hangman's energy. We have the hangman in reverse. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have a Three of Pentacles. My God. It's supposed to say take action. If this person is not taking action here and they're still with a third party and they're not communicating their truth or they're not willing to do that right now, right now um, it's time to take the lead. And the lead might be um, to disconnect from this connection for now. Let's see this Ace of Wands. Because apparently they can't make up their mind right now. Um, so you have to break up your mind. It says, circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. So maybe you, you might want to make the first move and get some clarity or something like that. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air and now is the time to dance to the tune of love take the lead so spirit is saying 
You don't need to wait for this person to come in with communication. Okay. You trust your intuition. For some of you, your intuition might say, reach out to this person and get some kind of closure. Okay. See, see where their mind lies in terms of where this relationship is going. For others of you, maybe that taking the lead is to detach. But you have to follow your intuition at the time. Either way, there's some kind of action that, push, uh, that spirit is pushing you to take in order to break the stalemate energy. Because this relationship is in a stalemate um, right now. And you, DF, you are the leader. Anyway. All right, my loves, that was your reading. I hope that helped you. Take care.